Hello everybody, I'm Rob Chapman. Hello, I am Matt. I have asked her for the first time ever to string an electric guitar. <sighs> it's this one. Chapman's uh, Pegasus. I chose it because it's purple and purple is your favourite colour. I do love that colour, yes. <laughs> I am nervous as hell. <laughs> Look, I think you're going to be either really good or really bad. This is the signature model for Michael and for Styx from Steel Panther. And I'm sure they're gonna watch this video, Nat, so no pressure. Sorry, guys. <laughs> all, <laughs> all of the tools that you need are behind you on this couch. Here is a Pegasus. Thanks. She just asked me if she has to restring it. Yes, the challenge is that you restring the guitar. Okay, I, uh, some uh, basic expectations. Yeah. I am not a guitarist. <laughs> I have never done this before. Rob hasn't told me anything like how to do any of this, uh, so we're not cheating. Okay, but you are a musician, professional, full-time musician, and, and you play piano and you sing in choirs, you know about tunings, you've got all the information you need. Um, all I would ask is that when it's strung, I can play it and it stays in tune. Do you know what tuning I use? It's, uh, it's going to be in standard tuning. That's not the tuning I use. Joy! But it's a tuning! <laughs> Okay, so first things first, we're going to take a look at the tools that Rob left me. So we have a spirit level. Yes, that's, that's perfect, yes. Screwdriver, Phillips. One of these, a couple of Allen keys, two packs of strings, and uh, a dust cloth. He's left me two packs of strings. They're both 10 to 52 gauge strings, I'm guessing just in case I, I break a string, I have a backup. So, what to do first? I guess I need to remove the strings. Oh God, <laughs> I've never done this before. Do I just cut them? Guess, should I loosen them first? Let's try. Mm. Don't get a string popping into my eye. No idea if this is an unnecessary step. I'm just taking precautions. Here goes nothing, oh God. No. Is this what it's for? <laughs> Rob! I don't want to do something silly. Like, do I have to loosen? I think so. Okay. Ah, ah okay. Things are happening. Okay. Ah. That's what this is for. Okay. Well, whether or not that's the way it worked, so... <laughs> ha! Wrong way! I don't know whether he put in some trick tools in there just to mess me up or something. Nope. <laughs> Thick string at the top, Nat. This goes in the little hole. How the hell do you make this tight? You're a clever lady, figure this out. How's it going? You're doing good? Oh god, how do you... <laughs> did you use the level? No. I can't make this tighter. Oh, uh, you'll be fine, Matt. <laughs> no! Ha! Give me a hint! Hey Siri, set an alarm for 20 minutes. Husband, how do you wait? Because I don't want to scratch anything. I feel like I need to turn this. <laughs> Because <laughs> it goes in the hole. How did you take the string off? So I loosened the back. What would you do with it once you've loosened it now? I pulled them out. Yeah, and then now the string's back in. Yeah, but it's, it's, does you just pull until it stops? Or do you have to loosen something and then turn this? This doesn't turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! God, I feel like an idiot. Okay. Wait, is this... Do or tighter? <laughs> oh god. Oh no. They were all that way before. Problem for later. Okay. If I have 20 minutes, I need to move. Let's see what's next. 42. Positive thoughts. I'm doing well. This is my first restring ever. Do I use one of the other guitars just to get an idea? <laughs> that wasn't helpful. 10. Next. Shout out to all the guitar techs that do this all the time. Tight, 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 tight. 17. Maybe I should have started from the higher notes first. Also, what's the screwdriver for? Okay. 
so far I have four strings out of the six. I think it's going well. I haven't tuned them yet. The thing is, I have no idea how I'm going to cut the straggly bits of the strings. So I have to figure that out later. Tuning peg turns the whole. That's good. Okay, we'll maybe tighten the knob at the back first. Or do you tune and then tighten after? What do you do? Now something I've noticed Rob doing is like pulling the strings while he's tuning. Does that keep the string in tune longer? I don't know. Yes, uh, I'm a tuner. <laughs> Six strings on. I haven't popped a string. Now I'm, I'm gonna try and find, figure out how to tune. He hasn't left me a tuner, which puts me at a bit of a disadvantage, so I'm gonna try and figure it out. Dun 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 do A deer, is that the da 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 E, is that an E? That's not right. I'm not sure about this fifth string. This is supposed to make E minor, but this is not right, Mana. What's this? If that is E, that's a second, shouldn't be F, should G? I have a feeling that's somewhere where it should be. It's, uh, to do the thing that Rob does, where he pulls the string. You're very pro. <laughs> okay, Mana. Do I need these? What are these for? They look like they go here. Don't want to risk doing that though. I can use this to clean it. I should have done this before. I'm <laughs> realizing before putting the strings on. Nobody will know. <laughs> As I know Rob likes playing in drop D. So I guess let's put this in D. Ma, this is not a cutter. I need a wire cutter. At least I'll bend them upwards. So, gave it a wipe. Realize I should have done that before I put the strings on, but anyway, first time. It's gonna be a learning curve, okay? I need a wire cutter for those. We'll deal with that later. But I think, I think I managed to tune it. I tuned it to drop D. I think. I saw, this is, sorry, I keep using all these words. <laughs> I didn't have a tuner, so I tried to do it by ear. I don't have perfect pitch. Pitch. Robert! Husband! I need wire cutters for these, but I think other than that, I think I tuned it. Wait, didn't I provide you with wire cutters? Surely these aren't the ones. Oh, that bit! The, the blade bit. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Okay, my bad. These were cutters. I just didn't realize that the blade was there. I'd say they're pretty neat. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. So far, it looks as if the order is correct. That might kill me at some point, <laughs> but... It's not that bad. <laughs> if you want them shorter, we'll do shorter, eh? Yeah. In the other one, the one that's really sharp. Did you do a lot of swearing in Maltese? Uh, no, I might have said words in Maltese, but probably not swearing, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I dropped you. <laughs> Did you drop two? D. But... I did E standard and then to the, the D. I tuned it down. Without a tuner, I, I imagined what the notes would be. Oh, you did it by ear? Yeah, you didn't leave me a tuner. Okay. Don't tell me. Don't look. I'm not looking, I can't see. Please <laughs> 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 stop laughing. <laughs> That's authentic 60s tuning. It, it's hearing it from the amp, Matt. Oh. Yeah, so no. So no. No, no, not, you don't need to hold it against the guitar because the amplifier is making the noise. So if you, if you hold it to... I didn't see what those notes were, so I'm going to okay. try and tune it back. Oh! What? <laughs> it tuned it. It struck backwards. <laughs> okay. You've... <laughs> It's completely fine. Okay. <laughs> but you've strung it um, backwards on the pegs. What does that mean? It means that when I go to tune it high, it goes low. Oh no. <laughs> it's the, the only reason that you, you do it the other way is so that it's straight to the nut. You want to be straight to the nut now, okay? <laughs> you put it the other side of the peg. 
but that's fine because see i figured out that that you can make the whole move after i did two of the strings <laughs> right i say you tighten them up that's good yes okay it's fine let me try and tune it with uh That sounds like it makes more sense. Uh, well, yeah, but, <laughs> but am I in tune? Yeah, so I'm, I'm now in tune. You were a semitone flat, which is fine. Yeah, not bad. I normally ask for a semitone flat. So, ACDC tuning. <laughs> now then, next question. Okay. Did you stretch the strings? I, I, yes, I was doing this, pulling from here and well then from done. there. Because I remember you doing that at That's that point. That's really good. I'm very proud of you. So I don't know to, which, to what extent you stretched the string. Now my next question. Uh-huh. You used the Ernie Balls, didn't you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can see the Because I, well, I, put, I put the MYXLs there just in case you fall for it. Did you use, I, did I, you I use this? I thought you put them there just in case I broke a string. No. No. <laughs> okay. That, that, that was a... See, I knew it. <laughs> Did you clean the guitar with a cloth? Yes. So you did, that's great. <laughs> Feels really good now. All right, if, Your you need prize. A, if you need a guitar tech and you have like an extra two hours to spare before you need yeah. your guitar. <laughs> well, uh, an hour almost. But um, <laughs> your prize is that you're coming to America with me to go to the NAB show. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you for, so I'll probably, <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> I'll have shortened this down so that it wasn't an hour because, and nobody got time for debt. Uh, thank you for taking part in this challenge. Thank you for having me. Your next <laughs> challenge will be Matt setting up my pedal board. Oh God. <laughs> I'm going to give her a patio of effects and she's just going to choose them and plumb them all in. It's going to be great. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't bad. <coughs> it was very, very good. Considering I've never done that before. I am so proud. <laughs>